It's GED question of the daytime, and today we've been asked, what is the perimeter of the shape below? Now, careful, um, before you hit up your GED formula sheet, um, notice this is not a shape that we know. Um, if you look at this, this particular shape appears to be made of um, a couple of different things stuck together. I mean, it kind of looks like a rectangle. It kind of looks like a circle. I mean, to be honest, it looks like a pregnant rectangle. And there's no formula on your formula sheet for a pregnant rectangle. So when you've been asked to find the perimeter of a shape like this, it's known as it's what's known as a composite shape. It's a shape that's composed or made of other shapes. Um, I think the best uh, plan in a case like this is to go by the definition of perimeter. Now, what does perimeter mean? It means the distance around and outside of a shape. So that's going to be fairly simple for most of this shape. Because you know the distance around most of this shape. Like, you know right here, this piece here is two centimeters. And you know this piece is another two centimeters. So now we're up to four centimeters as I go around the shape. And I know that this piece is seven centimeters. So I could just add that on. I'm up to 11. Okay. Now, but what you're going to find as you see composite shapes like this is that you will often have shapes that are missing numbers or sides that are missing numbers. So like right here, I have a side on this shape. Um, if I really want to do the distance around the outside of the shape, I need to include this side, but it has no measurement on it. But do recognize that this is a rectangular piece down here, even though I don't have the full border of a rectangle, I don't have this piece, it is still um, a rectangular E, it's like a rectangle. And so since this side of the rectangle is two centimeters, and we know that um, opposite sides are congruent on a rectangle, that side will also be two centimeters. So I can add on that two centimeters. And I can add on this little one centimeter here. The only problem I really have with finding the perimeter of this particular shape is this round piece. Notice that I have no idea how long this round piece is. It's obviously not going to be the same measurement as this flat um, line here. And so what am I going to do? And so do realize that for round pieces, for pieces and parts of circles, you are going to need the formula sheet. So I'm going to use the formula sheet just to find this missing piece right here. So we'll use our formula sheet to find missing round pieces. Those are called arcs, okay? So if you hit up our formula sheet, we are going to see, so let's go take a look at that. I've got that. Where do I have that? Pulled it up for you so I could show you guys what I mean. I don't want to confuse you. Um, now, I just want that outer piece. So anytime you're talking about the outside of a shape, you need to be here. right here under the concept of perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape, and you can see that the special name for the perimeter on a circle or distance around a circle is circumference. So we have circumference of a circle formula. But the tricky thing about this is you have two different formulas here. You have C equals two pi R, that has an R in it. R stands for radius. And you have C equals pi D, that has a D in it, that stands for diameter. And you have an OR between them, meaning you could use either one, it doesn't really matter. And you have that freedom to choose whichever one is easier for you. So you might be thinking, Kate, I don't know which one's easier. Well, it all depends on what you've been given. Do you know the radius of your circle? Then use the formula with radius in it. Do you know the diameter of your circle? Then use the formula with diameter in it. And also note here that it does tell you what pi equals. If you're like, what the heck is that symbol? It says here that pi is approximately equal to 3.14.
So pi is a number, it's about 3.14, and that's close enough for our purposes. So let's go back now and decide which one of those formulas to use while we look at our problem. Okay, so here is this shape that we refine the perimeter of. Um, I want you to imagine, so I'll just draw back in my two here. I know every time I switch screens, it erases all my writing. Kind of a pain. Um, but if you remember, this is the thing I'm looking for. Okay, this is the outside of a circle, but be really, really careful. It's the outside of only half a circle, not a full circle. Can you see that? Um, and there is this implied measurement that I have here. I actually can see the diameter of this circle would be this missing piece of the rectangle. Well, how long would this missing piece of the rectangle be? Well, if this full side here is seven centimeters, seven centimeters, then I know that this full side also has to be seven centimeters, but I don't want this piece. Take out two from your seven, we're at five. And I don't want this piece um, from that five minus one more, and I'm at four. So I took that seven, I minused out the pieces I don't want, and I know that across this diameter, this circle is four centimeters. Okay, so since I know the diameter, the formula that I'm gonna use is C equals pi D. Okay, so the circumference of this full circle, this full circle would be equal to 3.14 times D times four. Let's figure that out. 3.14 times four. I screwed up on the air in a video a little while ago, so now I'm like paranoid and scared to uh, do my computations by hand. So I get 12.56. Okay, so what I just found out here is that the circumference of this circle would be 12.56, but watch out. Do you see the problem with that number? What's the problem? Yeah, circumference goes all the way around a circle. I don't have all the way. In fact, I lack this piece altogether. So what am I going to do with this number so that it's only half of a circle? Well, I'm going to half it. I'm just going to half it. How do you half a number? Well, easiest way to half a number is probably just to divide by two. So instead of doing um, the circumference of a full circle, uh, to take the circumference of a half circle or half the circumference, this is not math for me to do, by the way, guys. This is just me being too lazy to write half a circumference. Is going to be that 12.56 divided by two. So I'll just divide that by two in my calculator. And I get 6.28. And so what I just figured out is this piece is 6.28. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, there's a lot of steps. Could it, would it really be this long on the GED? No, it sure could be. Um, but the point is not for you to memorize the steps. The point is for you to be able to kind of puzzle this out. Can I find the missing measurements? And then once I do, can I find the perimeter of that shape? So remember, Perimeter is just the distance around the outside of this. So now to complete this up and figure out the perimeter, I'm just going to have to add up all these numbers I just got. So to this 6.28, I'll add my 2 for that side. And I'll add another 2 and a 7. And I'll add the 2 on this side and the 1. And I should have... One, two, three, four, five, six numbers I'm adding up for the one, two, three, four, five, six sides. I mean, this isn't really a side where it's round, but you understand what I mean. Six pieces of the outside of this shape. And when I total them all up, I get 20.28. 20.28 what? Well, we're just measuring the distance of a line, so plain old centimeters. Perimeter is always measured in regular units. Okay. Um, now, if this were on the GED, there would either be some rounding directions or it would be a multiple choice problem, so you wouldn't have to decide how to round. So I'm just going to leave this problem here um, just like this.